we head south to the Mediterranean, where scientists are studying everything from history to sea life to human effects on the environment. Harvey Stein of Israel 21C takes us along on his discovery of the world beneath the surface. It's dusk in the Herzliya Marina, north of Tel Aviv, and the Mediterranean Explorer, a state-of-the-art research ship, is getting ready to go out for a night trip. The ship is owned and run by EcoOcean, an Israeli nonprofit that collaborates with other organizations and universities to explore the mysteries of the ocean. The sea is like a big blanket and everything is actually being covered by this blanket and you have to pick up this blanket in order for people to have a peek inside and to start uh, realizing, one, what is happening in there and secondly, what's the impact of that on, on our lives. Active since 2004, EcoOcean sends the Mediterranean Explorer out about 120 days a year. Tonight we're braving a choppy sea with an Israeli professor and his 10 students to analyze water and plankton at various depths of the sea. The history of the Mediterranean is not uh, very well studied. It's a pretty unique place oceanographic-wise. The rosette, which contains 12 large collection bottles, will be released by the onboard crane. As it goes about 250 meters down, it will send signals back live about the conductivity, temperature, and other properties of the water at different levels. After it got, get down, got down to the bottom, uh, Gitai, that's the professor, he analyzed uh, what parts of the profile he wants to take water samples from. And then we're going to put the, uh, bring the Rosetta back on board, and the students are going to start taking the water out and uh, checking, analyzing it. Israel has always faced water shortages, and recently desalination is being used to create drinking water from seawater. Tomorrow, the ship will go out to analyze the effects on sea life of a large desalination plant near the city of Hadera. We're talking about uh, over 10 desalination plants along the Israeli co uh, coast. And we are very worried about the effects of this process on the environment. 10 p.m., we're finally arriving back at the dock, and I can't say I'm unhappy. This is Harvey Stein of Israel 21C in Israel for CNN Worldview.